I started in this job about three years ago, or not quite three years ago, and started paddling immediately because uh, my friend Oliver was uh, working in the same department and had been making that commute for a long time. Another foggy day in Halifax. <laughs> yeah. We usually meet up here at Oliver's house, uh, which is right on the arm, and where we keep our canoes. Meet up about 7.30 and head across. Over to the public wharf on the Halifax side. And then walk down to where we work uh, on Terminal Road. One of the things I enjoy is just the physical aspect of uh, get, getting a little exercise on the way to and from work. Um, there's 15 minutes or so of, of paddle and then we have um, about 25 minutes of, of walking. So one of the benefits is getting to work or getting home for that matter at the end of the day, feeling like uh, I've done something physical as well as all the mental work I've done during the day. I was most interested in doing it um, just to try to use a little less gas, try to um, save a little uh, energy for the planet. And, uh, but also, I guess, probably the, the biggest thing is just what we're doing right now. It's a chance to get out and clear your head first thing in the morning and at the end of the day, you're out on the water seeing a seal or seeing an eagle or a flock of geese or who knows what. A couple of months ago I saw an otter. That's pretty rare. The hardest part is sometimes in the, the coldest days of winter you've got to wear heavy heavy mittens and it's just a little hard to work the paddle but you know you're active and the activity keeps you warm. The walk downtown is warm. It's really uh, kind of try not to slip when you come down that hill and, and manage to make it up the stairs on this side is probably the hardest part. It's really not as cold as people think. The real issue you have, we have to watch is, um, is wind. And you can get windy weather in, um, any time of year. It is more likely in winter, so there are days when we don't go. In the wintertime too, sometimes when the days are so short, it'll be pitch dark when we get down there. So you gotta have a headlamp in your backpack so you can see to unlock the boat. But that can be really neat too because there's these, the phosphorescent algae are sometimes out after dark. So you'll be paddling along and there'll be an, a streak of fluorescent green from, uh, from the algae. It's just amazing. And that's, we usually only see that in the wintertime. My wife Karen, well we have a three, three and a half month old now. He was born in February, and, but Karen continued to commute with us until she was eight months pregnant. That became a bit challenging. It's as uh, far from driving as you can get. It's just stop and go, and stop and go, and breathing exhaust, and out here you're just breathing the ocean air, and a little bit of fog, a little bit of rain wakes you up. There's something different about every single day you're out here. You see different things, the conditions are different. Yeah.